<laughs> gotcha. <laughs> That's a big fish. Look at that! Woo -hoo -hoo! Uh, this little part, Millsy, my mate of mine, he's going to show us how to rig up a garfish for trawl and mackerel, or you can use it for drone fishing off the beach as well. It's really handy, using wire so the mackerel can't get through it. So stay tuned, have a look at that, and he'll show you all through that. So Here we are today, we're about to wire up a, a mackerel rig with a garfish. You can use this application on hard body lures as well for trolling so that when the mackerel bite the fish, if you're using mono, it will get bitten off. So we use some tie wire, and we're gonna first tie it to the hook. So you can stick it through the hole, give yourself plenty of length, so that you don't run out of space, just like so. Get your pliers, you hold and twist. Twist and turn, like so. And you just keep twisting, about five or six times once you've done so you then twist straight around straight back around the wire about another five or six times okay so when you're finished finish on that so it's like that underneath not on top so that when you break the wire off you don't cut it off with, with you don't cut it you've got to break it because if you cut it it leaves a barb there which can slice your fingers over so I bend that over like so and hold here and then I twist this is a tricky bit you've got to get used to. you've got to twist and push at the same time and then get another bite at it and then turn and it just snaps off like that then you can run your finger through you don't get cut and that's the safe way and you just rinse and repeat on the other end with a loop. Putting your garfish on, you want to get this hook here, like so, through the eye. And then you get some tie wire and you tie it up, but we don't have any tie wire, so we're just going to put the gar on now. Copper wire. Alright. And seeing as you're floating it, you don't really need to you don't really need to tie it, but if you're gonna troll that you'd have a bullet head with some fluffy stuff and you tie that up with some soft tie wire so that your beak would stay tied to the, the thing so that when it swims through the water it's gonna swim nice. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. This episode we're fishing off Fraser Island where we're up here for a week. Um, it's going to be one hell of an episode. We start off trawling for mackerel in close. We head out to the reefs off a little bit further and then we finish off out wide with my PB 30 kilo bar cod. So stay tuned. It's going to be one hell of an episode. So give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks for watching.
you lost him. But I didn't. Finally race. <laughs> Let's go. 
All right, guys and girls, today we're going to fill out a Spanish mackerel, and I'm going to show you how I do it. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the right way, but it's the way I do it. So, first cut is here. Ooh. Then you start, you slip just the tip of the knife in, just the tip, just put the tip in, and just feel on the top of the, the backbone. All right, and then once you get in there, oh, for fuck's sake, you got to fucking do it. You just keep going like this. And then when you get down the back, you feel the backbone, you just slice it on the bottom. And then you just spread this down to the bones. All right, and then you spin it around. And you just go, just the tip, not the whole knife, just the tip, just through here. I'm trying to get the most meat off it. And you just keep going. <laughs> All right, then you've got a little hole here, just like this. So that you can put your finger through there, you lift up here and then you just pull the knife. Push the knife, pull the fish, and that's it. Righto guys, that's it for another episode. Hope you did enjoy that. Well, like I said, the biggest bar cod I've got yet. It went right on 30 kilos. Um, Fraser Island's an awesome place to fish. I'm trying to get all those big boats up there. It's a mission to get them all up there. You've got to have the right trailers, the right gear. Heaps of fun. If you do like the videos, please subscribe. I'm trying to work our way to 700 um, subscribers. Now, Instagram and Facebook's there as well too. So if you can, please like it, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.